state of Colorado's dream to going to space is a step closer to reality. Nicole Ayers, a graduate of the Air Force Academy, is among 10 new NASA astronaut candidates. Jamie Leary joins us live tonight in Denver. Jamie, making that list, of course, in itself is a huge deal. It really is, Karen. For most Coloradans, the planetarium here in Denver is the closest most of us will even get to space. But for Nicole Ayers, the possibility of setting foot on the moon is real. She was selected from a pool of 12,000 applicants and says that her desire to explore the mountains here helped shape her to desire to explore space. Ever since I was a little kid, I had an affinity for space and for the sky. And as a kid in Colorado Springs, the sky was her inspiration. Right there in the springs, we got to see the Thunderbirds fly over the Air Force Academy every year. So I knew what the Air Force Academy was at a very young age. And, you know, serious little Nicole set her sights on being a pilot. Now 32 years old, Nicole Ayers has achieved that dream and then some. And I'm fortunate because I was able to go on and fly the F-22 and which, you know, is the premier air dominance fighter in the entire world. She is one of the 10 selected for NASA's newest class of astronauts. All have extremely impressive resumes. Nicole, for instance, knows Russian. She also led the first ever all women formation of the F-22 aircraft into combat. The jet's the, the ultimate equalizer, right? It doesn't care what gender you are. It just cares uh, what you tell it to do. And, um, you know, unfortunately for the young ones like me, we've we get to stand on the shoulders of giants, you know, the women who have gone before us. And for the next two years, she'll train with her new family before facing a number of possible missions in space. We're going to learn about the space station systems, robotics, spacewalking. It's a great time in human spaceflight right now. You know, part of Artemis is going to the moon. Figure out how to do this long term space living uh, in order to eventually get to Mars and other parts of our universe. And they call this generation the Artemis generation. It's NASA's entire mission to land astronauts back on the moon. And this time around, it will finally include a person of color and the first woman. Reporting live in Denver, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. Very 